Howdy everyone, Iron Toast here, and today we're going to look at the new and improved, finalized, updated version of She-Hulk, available to everyone now. Spoiler alert, it's pretty good. What did they change about She-Hulk? Uh, the first thing is the signature ability. They actually tell you what it does now, which is good. Um, then there's no advantage for skill anymore, but that's okay. That's kind of in line with class relationships now. The real bulk of this update, though, comes from when she's attacking or when she gets attacked, there's an 11% chance for a passive fury effect. They are quite impressive. At this single dupe level, it's about a 30% attack increase, which is insane. And it stacks pretty easily. They get refreshed every time your opponent fires off a special attack. That's cool in and of itself. But also, right here is this induced panic mechanic, which when you have more and more of those passive fury effects active, each one increases the chance that your opponent uses their special attack by 15%. So once you get, you know, 6, 8, 10 furies going, they're constantly firing their special. It's actually fairly simple to keep it refreshed. The other important thing that you need to know in the short term from this update is that she's able to cancel unblockable on her opponents and i'll show you that in one of these videos other than that she has some updated synergy which is good she can put different debuffs on the opponents but for the sake of the quick guide i'll show you the strict beatdown that she can put on opponents now the first bit of a fight i'm going to show you is this captain marvel fight this is the second fight in the realm of legends i'm going to show you how the passive fury stack up it's simple enough right you just attack your opponent you'll watch them stack um, throw heavy attacks in there when you get them. It'll help with the debuffs. But what you really want to do is as soon as your opponent has a bar of power, you want to kind of back off and let them use their special. Once you get up to, again, six or eight Furies, you can basically just keep beating down the opponent because they're going to fire off their special almost every time they get it. You do want to make sure you're good at baiting their specials because they're not going to fire them as much when you're blocking. But once you get the hang, if you're any good, at baiting their specials. Once you have those Furies, they're just gonna fire them off one after the other. See, watch here. Special. She's got a bar of power again. I'm blocking, so she's not doing it, but as soon as I back up and let off, she fires it off. Get her back up to a bar of power, fires it off. Very consistent. Again, once you get a few of those Furies, they just start rolling off. The other fight that I wanna show you is against the Juggernaut that's in Realm of Legends. He's actually the third fight, right after the Captain Marvel. And this way I can show you just how much damage the Furies can deal once you start stacking them up. And I can also show you how she cancels out that Unstoppable. Here's the Unstoppable right here. As soon as he's off of it, I can run that heavy attack at him and it cancels it right away. If you want, you can also throw heavies at him. And when he's got that slow debuff, he won't activate the Unstoppable to begin with, which is actually really nice. That avoids... Um, having to take that hit when you're trying to intercept his attack with your heavy right here i didn't take a hit there but anyway so let's look at the furies i'm already at nine furies here and i'm going to keep pushing him to his special as much as i can now you got to be a little careful dodging his special one because it's just a little bit delayed but here we go uh 11 stacks of furies already fires a special when you're fighting him and, and probably most of these opponents there's a nice 35k hit there when you're fighting most of these opponents um, I would suggest using your special two with She-Hulk. And the reason that is, is because you're probably not going to stun your opponent. When you stun your opponent, you run the risk of them uh, being stunned when you actually need them to fire their special to keep those Furies. Here we are at 14 Furies. Gosh, he's just laying on those crits. Block that. Oop, he's got his Unstoppable. No problem. Heavy attack. 16 Furies now. 10k, 6k. It is just a beatdown. And this is the finalized version. I think the beta was even stronger, if, if I remember. There's a 45k hit. So anyway, um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Get those Furies going. Again, once you get to 4 or 5, they're going to start unloading their specials over and over. And you can keep it refreshed, no problem. I think I lose it here. Nope, I got the 17 refreshed. Actually, this fight's probably going to end. There's that slow debuff again. Don't have to worry about the unstoppable while that's on. And bam, he's done. So taking out that juggernaut in, what does it look like here? Uh, 153 hits. I took a few hits because 
Uh, it takes me a little bit of time to get it ramped up, and honestly, his special one throws me off for the first few times also. But um, anyway, that's the gist of it. She-Hulk is a beast now. Um, is she going to be worthy for war and some of the advanced questing? You know, I don't know. Time will tell. Um, I think it's definitely worth a try. Her synergy is with some champs that are also kind of good in those modes. So, um, I hope you get one now. You know, if you were disappointed about her before, there's no reason to be now. Um, and as soon as you get her duped, the better it gets. So, I am all for this update. I appreciate them updating old champs, even if they do have, you know, a face only a mother could love. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope this helps. I hope it was quick enough. And uh, do subscribe and like and share it with your alliances if you think it's helpful. Thanks a lot, guys. See ya.